first game and you can see random civilization let's see what is gonna be the the first and uh, hands oh well it's random civilization no mirror yes all right let me let me check well Persians Chinese versus Piper hands Carolini Spedis let me go for overlay settings let me move the, the table absolutely going to remove the fish that's don't do not need it and yeah everything is all right well uh, we have the viper with the hands and he's facing the skittle with chinese then we have carolini spanish facing persians and yeah do remind me teutonic tans to go for for the bettings absolutely i'm i'm connecting the bot right now it wasn't connected yeah, the chat is because last night I finished with the HD, but now it's fixed it. And uh, I'm loading, loading the bot super fast or trying. Oh well, the bot is seems to be keep loading. Damn it! Okay, I will I will try to make the the bettings as soon as the the bot the bot it's loading. It's not loading yet. I guess that because I I should have load before I start the stream. Right now it's, there is some problem. Ay, ay, ay. Well, this is my chat. Uh, we all know the Viper, Elbitan and Skittle. Carlini also, we all know too bad about his skills. Uh, we don't know that much. So, is he going to be able to be at the same level? Actually, uh, Elbitan is 19 plus. 19 plus, maybe 2k. Uh, Skittle is over 2k player and Viper is Viper. So, let's see what the strategy they are going to, to use here. Who is gonna win this game? Viper Carolini. LB10 Skittle. Well, I will say that uh, LB10 Skittle should win the, this best of five. Pretty convinced, but you know. He's only 19 HD. Yeah, well, I know. So let's see what is gonna happen in this match. We have already everyone with 14 population. Carlin is one population behind. Let's see the resources placement. Goal at the back. Uh, four deers. And what else? I don't know, Manutano, what are you talking about? But welcome to the channel. Goal at the back. Goal forward as well. Well, you cannot sling with this. If you sling, there is no no banking. Coinage is removed till uh, till Castellage, I think, or something. And the taxes is like seventy percent. Well, if you have one hundred foot and you send one hundred foot, you are going to send only thirty foot. So if you sling, you are dead, definitely. So they try to avoid uh, this link. Let's see now how they are going to play. We have. Skittle with Chinese, which is a really strong civilization for Arena. Really, really good. Facing the Piper with Hans. Hans is strong, but uh, I think Chinese is better. Then the Spanish is better than Persians, but like we say, the LB10 is 2k plus or 19 plus, I don't know. Well, but the strategy here should be clear, Leopard. They should just go double, two versus one against the Piper, and that's it. If they go two versus one, uh, they should be able to kill uh, Piper. Anyway, we're going to find out very soon what they are going to do. Resources placement for Skittle. Goal on a side. He has uh, nice berries at the back. He's also pushing the deers already. That he has a stone safe. Yes, he has one stone safe. But other than that, the goal is forward. And Viper, Viper has a okay map. That he has a stone at the back. No, he doesn't need too much stone anyway. He needs to the goal, but we can see how Carlin is already two population behind. Why? I don't know. He has just two villages behind Idle TC. He didn't lose a, a single unit, but he's already two population behind, which is pretty bad at this point. <coughs> okay, three villages on wood, four it's seven. And his goal at the back, two farmers. Yeah, well, you can see, man. 
That, that's a difference, absolutely. Pushing the deers. Yes, the deers really close to the mill. That's a good help. But even like that, you can see how LB10 is already on the way to feudal age. 25 population. 25 population pretty fast. And probably an oath. I'm going to LB10 point of view. You can see everything is alright. Yeah, I think everything is alright. One, two farmers. Going. Okay. If you see that I mute sometimes, it's because I'm not feeling good. Anyway, Skittle, 27 population. He's not up yet. Is he gonna go up? He's mining a stone. He's not going up. Oh, well, what is a Skittle doing? We're gonna go up 29. Interesting. So on goal and a stone, he most likely will go fast Imperial. They are flaring already. Who is... Yeah, that he's against Carlini and the other guy is against the Viper. Are they exploring? No, Carlini is not exploring anything. The Viper has explored already blue, Skittle, and Skittle know that he's facing the Viper. Yeah. Okay, Carlini is now on the way to Feudal Age, 28 population, which is pretty slow. 13 minutes gonna be in, in, in Feudal Age. Yeah, I am in... In some little troubles. It was mainly because I was already sick and, and I went to, to the back of the party being sick, so I was trying to recover, but it's a big problem now. Anyway, you can see how how LB10 will go up to Castle Age before Carlini reach Feudal Age, also Skittle, but the Skittle is at 2029, 20, one population more. That he has the Loom, he doesn't have the Loom, Carlini, okay, while he has 29 and Loom, so. 14 minutes 25 seconds. 14 minutes 25 seconds gonna be LB10. The Viper 14 minutes 55, which is pretty good as well. 28, LB10 27, so it's basically the same. And uh, I want to see Skittle, what he's planning to do. I think what he needs to do is just really go aggressive on, on Viper. Viper will defend and will probably hold because he's super strong. Oh, a stable Barak. Okay, gonna go aggressive. We will see. <clears throat> well, I I always try my best. Uh, it's not the same when I'm when I'm sick, but I'm trying. Viper Castle Age and Skittle still not up yet. He will go up after this villager. Yeah, definitely. Let's see what he's gonna try. Well, LB10 is booming. Well, Carolini is just mining goal only. That he has the resources. Yes, he has the resources to go up. And he's on the way to Castle, 16 minutes 35 seconds, one population behind to, to Skittle, which is not terrible, but it's actually almost three, because Carlini is without the loom, well, of course, you have the loom with, with China. Let's see what they are going to do, well, scouts, scouts, Piper has a scout, Skittle is running away with, with this, and uh, the booming coming, gonna be a strong from LB10 with Persians, definitely. What is Skittle is going to do? I'm really curious. I, I will go to Skittle point of view. He's with a lot of villages on stone, so I imagine that he will go something something aggressive. Yeah, he did so many houses on a side. And he's gonna make maybe a castle here. Drop it in the corner, I don't know. The relics is one, two, three, four. If he's going aggressive and going with monks, he could be able to, to control all the relics there. Well, he's gonna lose the scout, seems so. Yeah, it's not really important. Anyway, we can see how LB10 is doing all the upgrades, all the economic upgrades. Now he's doing the monastery. He wants to take the monks, I guess. But let's go to Viper, Viper point of view. He can see one, two, Thank three, three relics. Thank you for the following. Welcome to the channel, Okanor. We are watching Gladiators of Arena. Uh, Viper is on his, oh, was inside. Why? Oh man, and he lost a villager? It seems so. Well, do you have to play at your best? Because if you like this, you can't. You can probably lose. Well, we will see. I am on a Skittle point of view. Is he doing what? Well, two extra tone centers. But uh, yeah, soon he will. He will still do in a castle, definitely. Carlini doing one, two extra tone centers. Population difference is is not there yet. But it will. It will. Carlini has thirty. 
OB1033, but he has the the three tone centers working pretty smoothly. Now he lost the scout as well. Okay. <coughs> oh, 40 population, 32, 35, 33. One, two, three. Three tone centers. Five on goal, 42 population. Okay. Well, he's farming now a lot. Piper has 38 villages, Skittle 33. Surprisingly as low as Skittle, if you ask me. Okay, he's taking the relics. One relic, two, three relic. He's doing the castle at home and maybe he's gonna go some chukunus, some petars or something. Well, we will see. Well, uh, we can see how the Viper with 56 population, LB10 55. Okay, but Carlini is a bit behind, but it's not big deal for now. If Viper keep going with this, boom, oh, but, but LB10, yeah, doing the four tone center. And Viper, three tone centers as well. They are going for the for the safest strategy for now. Okay, hello, Carlos Martinez, how you doing? <coughs> One, two, Three tone centers, stone, okay. Thank you for following. We'll borrow hand cart. One, two, three, four farmers. Yeah, four tone centers. Thank you for the following. Well, I'm really curious if he's going to to do some strategy, I think he should try to, to make some push, but he's, he's not doing so. The fight is gonna go to Imperial, well, we will see. I'm okay, I could be better, but I am okay. One, two, three, four tone centers, right. And Carlini with three tone centers, still 57, but 58, not pretty, not really, really behind. It, it is behind in, in, in the boom, but you know that here uh, a strong attack can make the difference. Uh, the Viper is taking what? Three relics already. The score is is switching by time to time, and the Viper is already on the way to Imperial. Twenty seven minutes, twenty seven minutes, twenty seven minutes. He converts one villi and he's inside with the villi. Oh my God, this is sloppy play. I cannot even believe that he let him convert a, a villi here and now Limin. Oh my God. Anyway, let's see. Remember that there is no redemption for for the monks on uh, with the hands. But he's walling, he's taking the goal somehow. Now we have Skittle doing all the upgrades. Nobody else is on the way to Imperial. Now, now LB10 is on the way to Imperial with only 30 seconds behind. But he's with even more population, 93 population. Let's see Carlini resources. Well, pretty okay resources. Pretty okay resources. Okay, please, can we focus in the, in the game and not talk about the football? Because I stopped watching, I re, I'm recording the second half. 
and uh, and I wanted to watch the second half if you let me after these games. If you spotted me, uh, it, it's not gonna be a really pleasure for me because I'm doing a big effort to cast these games. So please, can we focus on AOC? Really thank you and appreciate it. Oh well, Skittle is now gonna go up to Imperial and he's going a slower bat with 16 population more than Carolini with 12 population more than the Viper and, uh, and let's see, well, he's, he's gonna kill the village or not? Oh man. Well, still, if he's gonna go Siege Rams, he's gonna get all that back fast and unpredictable, but he's still not doing any army. Well, he killed the Monk and the village is still walling more. Oh my god. Well, he has the stables just really, really at the back. Two Barak, the Castle, Chukunus. And what Piper is going to do? Well, Paladins. And uh, Carolini is gonna do... Well, he's doing the Barak right now. Doing a lot of farms. 91 population, 95. Pretty much the same population. And resources. Let me check. Yeah, well, okay, resources. Oh, he's getting back. I think this is a, a waste of resources, probably. With the Rams, he's gonna get it back really, really fast. And let's see the combo. It's gonna be one, two, three... Four barracks. So he's gonna go halberdiers, halberdiers and paladins. Viper is doing the cavalier at the same time that LB10. Now he has a castle doing a tone center outside, doing another barrack. So what are they going to do? Ay ay ay. 127, 122, and uh, well, not attack. The bad thing with this 2v2 arena is that. There is, uh, there is nothing happening till Imperial in, in a lot of those games, which is, is a bit uh, boring, right? But let's see, we're going to see what is gonna happen. We have now uh, Carolini with Pikes plus two. He's doing archery range, uh, the castle, trebuchet, he's sending cavaliers. And let's see how many cavaliers he's gonna send. He's now trying to recover, he's battering rams, doing the loom with those scouts. He's now killing some Bellias, super sloppy play by, by, by LB10 if you ask me. Now you can see Chukunus coming, is he gonna make helps? Well, we will see, 144, 145 population, way stronger population for now by LB10 and Skittle by far with more Bellias and definitely more army. Skittle has a lot of a lot of army right now going, is he gonna send it and going together? Well, we will see, Cavaliers versus Cavaliers, uh, Carlini will have Halbardiers, but LB10 is doing already the Paladin upgrade, trying to recover. Be careful with those Cavaliers inside. He lost some, some bullies there that it wasn't needed. Now he's gonna probably lose the Mangonel, all right, gonna lose another villager. But those Chukunus and Halbs might do the difference. Well, we will see. The score is basically the same. LB10 has pretty the same population, you can see now the Paladin is incoming for the Viper, Viper has 4 relics which can be a great, a great thing to, for, for a long game, but still Skittle, which is a really strong player, has right now 60 military, LB10, basically nothing, only 12 army, but now that he's getting the Paladin upgrade done, he might be able to, yeah, to, to spam more units and recover, recover the, the goal, he's recovering all the goal there, doing a castle forward, they will try to focus and go together, well we will see Carolini still with plus two, plus one only, while plus four for Skittle not attack, but Chukunus are plus three, is he doing all the upgrades, little by little he will, but now Viper is coming with a lot of paladins, he really need to be careful in front to don't get raided and pushed back by Viper, but Viper is doing a good job, of course, He's Viper and he has plus four Paladins and plus one, ay ay ay. Now he's coming, they need to go both together there. Carlini is just camping here with the helps. It's still a bit lower than the other players, but not really big difference with, with LB10. <clears throat> I think LB10 should add some range units to be honest, not only Paladins. Let's see if he's gonna do it. Still a Skittle with a lot of army, but Viper has 43 military, 43 military, let's see. Oh, let's see. Wow, look at this. Now it's two versus one. Carlini is not there, and he's gonna lose probably all those halves 
if if Skittle is focused and use the Tukunus exactly, the micro gonna be crucial. And Carlini is losing there all the help the years. And now, if he's losing all the helps and he's coming with the helps as well, he's so bad. They should have some problems. The only problem here is that LB10 has basically no paladins there. Yes, no paladins, so he's losing. They are losing a lot. Ay, yeah, 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 LB10, where is your army? 2k, man, you are 2k. Show it. Well, he has no goal. He's now trying to recover that. The steam battering ramp. No cab ramps. Skittle with the siege ramps incoming. That can change, probably, and make a difference. He's now doing a castle forward. Castle forward helps. Tukunus. Let's see. Well, Carlini is coming with 176 population, has trebuchet and halbardiers plus 4 plus 4 soon, with uh, a lot of army right now. The micro gonna be really, really important soon. So let's see. Siege ramps and helps Tukunus. Are they going to push? Yeah, well, they are trying to push here, going together. He's sending more paladins. How many? 27 paladins. While the Piper 43. LB10 151 villages. In my opinion, way too much. Let's see if he's gonna be able to balance his economy and then send more army. Because right now, the Piper and Carlini has more army. Definitely. And stronger units with paladins together here. Let's see the two canoes. Let's see the house. Skittle 50 military. Piper and Carlini clearly with the advantage. Clearly with the advantage. But. You never know, you never know because the micro is going to be crucial. Anyway, Piper has a lot of paladins, he has 4 relics, 46, and with the Chukunus and the house, are they going to be able to stop? Doesn't seem like they will, but remember, those paladins from Persians should be strong enough to help. Are they going to help? Is he going to help in time? Well, he's coming with 3 trebuchet, he has 10 cannoneers, only plus 1, but they are not taking good fight. He should... Re he should Repair that castle. Is he repairing? No. LB10, no resources. 183 population. Kalini at the pub limit with all the resources. Of course, he's doing house. So, he should have the resources. Also, Skittle with a lot of resources too. A lot of gold. Just missing some wood and food because he's what he's using. But they are not working really well together. Not really well together. Hi, yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable. If you ask me that these, get, these guys are winning the game like this. Actually, Pretty clear, if you if you ask me. Absolutely. Thank you for the resubscription for moons in a row, in a row. Yeah. Well, he's doing house and with four relics and 49 paladins, more paladins than LB10 during all the game. During all the game, absolutely, they have a really really important advantage right now. You can see plus four, plus four. Carlini has plus two hand cannoneers, which is might be an oath. He has a lot of Tukunus. Let's see if he's gonna make some walls. He should make some walls. They are not going together. They should go together and try to, to take this down. Well, the combo. What combo is better? Halves, Tukunus and Paladins or Paladins and hand cannoneers halves? Ay, 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 I don't know. The amount of army is really important. They have also more army, but I really think Tukunus should be, should be stronger. And with those paladins, well, let's see. At least we are, we are watching way, way better game than we probably expected. Uh, super closer. And let's see, man. Let's see. This is now a lot of army. A big fight. Huge fight there. With Viper with 64 army. Which is a lot of army. The patrolling. Let's see the patrolling. How it's going to work now. Ay, ay, ay. This fight is important. And it seems that there is a better spot now for the German. For German people. Definitely, they are getting a better fight than they are killing now, in my opinion, absolutely everything. Carlini is losing all the military there. He has now way, way lower army. And Viper is losing a lot of paladins as well. The Chukunus and the house are working pretty well, but the trebuchets are coming from behind. Those hand cannoneers are covering everything. But who is gonna get this fight? Well, you can see Viper and Skittle both lower population, but, but, but Chinese stronger because they are cheaper they are so so cheaper they are coming they really need to be careful because the goal is gonna be a problem lb10 at the limit with the resources carlini <laughs> 5000 gold while piper zero gold carlini you should send the gold to the piper definitely anyway if he send it if he send those resources they should get a huge a huge advantage in the game skittle at the very limit he is at the very limit right now. 
that he has resources? No, he doesn't. LB10 fletching. For what? I don't know. Because he's also pushing here. Getting pushed here? Yeah, man. He is. Just need to kill the trebuchet. He's gonna kill the traps. Probably. Well, the combination here is good. Really? But the resource is gonna be a problem. Are they trading? No trading. Remember, four relics. Four relics for, for the Viper. Is he repairing the castle? No, he's not repairing the castle. And now... <coughs> Look how he's gonna lose all the helps. Don't go with the helps against the traps when there is hand cannoneers. Just use the Chukunus and kill the Trebuchet. This is what he's doing. Now, the Viper. Well, LB10, no food, no gold. Carlini, crazy resources. The Viper, no resources at all either. Well, he has food, but no gold, which is the most important. Let's see if they are going to get pushed back here. Now, with the helps here. Ay, ay, ay. What is... What is LB10 going to do? LB10, 148 villages. That's so much villages for too little army. And here, with this spot, are they going to kill the Paladins? They need to kill Viper Paladins. If they kill Viper Paladins, then he can send Chukunus to the other spot. Ay, 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 ay. Or do elite skirmishers. Yeah, it's definitely not a standard fight here. Viper is now doing the light caps. I wonder if they are on Team Speak or whatever. But with these resources, whoa. But the resources are not that big anymore. 1,500. He's going with Trebuchet and just helps. If he's sending Chukus or Siege Rams, he might be. He should be able to stop. Let's see if it's gonna happen. Now Chukunus helps. LB10 doing the masonry. They are trying to pu 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 push. Viper is struggling now in population because the hands are... You know, they need the Paladins and they need the goal. Are they trading? Yeah, they have now two market and they have a Spanish trade. He he say him to make a market there. They are walling absolutely everything with with gold from the trade. They will be able to kill probably. Let's see because the population is 200 population. What I find really weird, yes, not even a market to trade. So, for how long they will be able to to keep going with the gold? That's the key here, that's the key here. Skittle, no goal. LB10, no goal. But he's still, he's still spamming everything. He's going there to the middle with Paladins, they don't wall. So actually Viper is doing now all the right choices. He's walling all the map, they are trying to set up a trade. Still, still not trade going on. Skittle, 72 army. A lot of army, 53 LB10, now a lot of army as well. More than the Viper and Carlini now, but they really need siege. They really need siege rams. Okay, look at those trebuchet. Now he's doing what? A gate and a mining camp there and another gate. You need archie ranges. You need skirmishers or hand cannoneers. If you can afford the, the skirmishers, now he's walling everything. Yeah. If you can afford, sorry, hand cannoneers, just go for skirmishers. He's doing a lot of, a lot of military buildings. LP10 is doing hazards. So if you are only going to use cavalry, against halberdiers, you will lose it, man. You will definitely lose it. Okay, the siege rams are coming. Now they are pu -pu 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 pushing. Skittle and LB10 still at 200 population. Chukunus are cheap. Yeah, well, the Skittle, no wood, no gold. Ay, ay, ay. You need to, co to cover. How is the resources going now for? Kalini is still with a lot of resources. Yeah, he has a lot of resources. Not sending to, to Viper. And Viper is switching to Lich Skirmishes. Exactly. Doing the smart choice. While LB10 is still with absolutely nothing. Just doing Barracks now. Pikeman upgrade. Scale Mail Armor. Oh, wow. Not, not playing the best LB10 in Imperial, in my opinion. Skittle is doing a good job, but... But you know, well, now he's going for the Skirmishes. They still no trade. They know that they can trade. They know, right? I think so. Well, he's there with the Trebuchet. Actually, Carlini, if he push, if he push LB10, he could destroy him, but he's not pushing. So they are just in, in one spot, in the Viper spot. Viper chemistry, LB10 squire, and melee chain armor. Just going to make helps. They really need to be careful. Let's see this micro. He's killing the castle. That's really, really important. They are still 200 population. I still find really weird why they are not trading. I know that I say it several times already, but they have to trade, man. Well, he's going without any protection. If he was, if he's doing just rams, siege ram, and he has battering rams, he will be able absolutely to kill all those trebuchet. But he's not going. He's not going. He's basically not 
not doing anything here, right? But also no defense here for LV10. The, uh, Carlini is focused with Viper in the other side. Viper is still in problems. I mean in problems with lower population and no goal. His civilization units, Hans, need goal. Expensive, like Persians, right? But Viper is now getting trade. I, I imagine, yeah, only a trade card, not big deal. And a lot of Paladins. Oh, he's open, he's open. Skittle, Skittle, he's open. Yeah, he didn't notice, now banking. Thank you for a Skittle. Is he gonna wall? Well, he's not walling. This is a lot of, a lot of army going on. 41, 51. Carlini, 71. Well, he's not walling. Well, I don't know. Well, it seems so that they are going to win the game. Now he's sending some Paladins. He's walling here. Well, I don't know why he's doing that. He should just kill him. Yeah, he has trebuchet helps and cannoneers. <coughs> helps, skirmishers, going. And he's at the limit with the resources. I think they will lose the game. If they don't trade, they definitely will. Oh, they have now finally three markets. And they are trading here. What the hell? Just to make the market here. That, that market will give, what, 37 gold? Well, Piper. Uh, Piper will is trading with a 80 gold market. I know that there is a Spanish trade, but but market, market, yeah. Anyway, this is, he's doing a favor to LB10 because this walling is just protecting his economy. Why he's doing this? He's wasting all those stone, that's crazy. Anyway, LB10 is still super stubborn, only doing hazards and paladins. He's definitely not an Imperial player. I have seen him playing more times and yeah, in Imperial he is not, he's not his age. He's better in early game, in early game. In Imperial he's usually not taking the right decisions and right now he's, he's doing this. Well, like you can see. I mean, <laughs> he's trying to go, now he's breaking this wall and yeah, he's, he's, what he's doing, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, still, uh, still, uh, Skittle is holding, but for how long? He's not gonna be able to hold for too long, I, I guess. So this might be the fire, the first game for Piper and Carlini, definitely. In the next game, we will see switching civilizations. So Persians and Chinese gonna be for the Piper and Carlini. Yeah, he's getting inside there with the Paladins. Now a lot of helps. Okay, those helps gonna help, definitely. Well, I think that the Skittle is playing, is playing really, really, really strong because he has a lot of army. Look at the unit, uh, unit loss he has a lot. And now Paladin is inside. Yeah, definitely. Paladin is inside because he made a gate. Now this is open and he's getting raided completely. Yeah. Pretty weak play if you ask me for LB10. He's by far who kill, who kill uh, less. A lot of idle abilities right now. He is still only using one unit when you can use actually like like um, like Carlini did helps and hand cannoneers for example yeah he he has no resources he's trying to to rebuild and now Chukunus skirmishers helps 128 population now look at LB10 how is possible that he has 5,000 score less than Carlini 6,000 less than the Viper and 4,000 less than Skittle wow Yeah, I think his uh, his unit choice wasn't the best. Well, this is gonna be the first game, definitely. And of course, that the Viper and Carlini did, did the right choice. And Carlini probably, right, played stronger than that you think. All right. 129, 189, 196. There you go. And LB10 called the GG. Achievements. Military. <coughs> Military, the Viper 64, he killed the most, Carlini the most army, LB10 the lowest, and 81, a lot of army also for Skittle who lost the most, LB10 definitely uh, didn't make the, the best game ever, 28 minute Imperial is fine, Skittle 29 was a bit slow, yeah even slower than, than Carlini, and Viper 27 the fastest, but with 5000 from the relics, and their army composition, definitely, they outplayed big time to LB10 and Skittle. So guys, stay absolutely tuned, there's more games incoming. There you go.